guys, my name is Chris. This is Wheelhouse Trading and welcome to the Wheelhouse. So look, I am going to play a video that I made several months ago about shorting. Uh, this is such a good tutorial uh, if you don't know how to short a market and conditions to meet, um, you know, how to, how to enter and exit on a short. You know, when there's a big bull run, everybody knows to go long and go up, but it's also a bull run if you know how to go down. It's down the mountain and you're making a ton of money if you know how to go short. So look, I'm just gonna play this old video, uh, but this was made I think in January if I recall. All the information is the same. You can learn a lot from this um, and this is a way that you can make a lot of money. I just wanna make sure, you know, if you're on this channel, you know, you have all the tools, you know how to take advantage of them, and no matter what the market environment is, there are ways to be in the market making money, and shorting is a viable way in the current market conditions. So let's get started. Today, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give you kind of a, a, a brief overview on, you know, shorting or, you know, trading the direction to a downward uh, downside. Uh, and, and just a very simple way to look at it. And, um, you know, I'm not going to overcomplicate it. I'm just going to keep it pretty simple for you. <clears throat> so, uh, okay, let's see. So what you're looking for when you go short, and just so you know, I have only, I only put three EMAs on the charts today. Okay. Um, and for crypto, I have it a little bit different, and I'll explain that maybe later. Okay, so the purple one is your 200, the blue one's your 50, and the green one is your nine, okay? And so if you notice, um, you know, the as, the as the purple one goes up, that's, you know, it's going up, and so is the price action, which is the bright, you know, bright green over here, and, and it shows the trend, right? And then it comes down and it's showing a downtrend. Well, the same with the 50 EMA, it lags 50 days and the same with the nine. I just wanted to put these three on. I could put a 30, I could put a hundred, I could put a 20, but it's very simple to just put these three on and I'll show you why. <clears throat> now, okay, this is, uh, okay, I'm on the daily. It's best to be on the daily. You, you can, I do it a lot in the hourly, but you could do it on the on the daily would be much more recommended, if, especially if you've never gone short or you're a beginner trader. Uh, this is Clean Spark. It's obviously trending down. You can see in the bright green line right here. Okay, you can see it's trending down in the bright blue line, and you can see that it's trending down in the purple line, right? It's coming down. Okay, you could also see in the price action it's coming down. It had a rally attempt, but essentially it's coming down, right? Well. When the price action falls below the nine, that doesn't mean that you should go short right there. Sometimes I do it, but it's not like preferred to do that. And it's probably not even that smart to do it, to be honest, um, unless specific conditions are met. Now, the first thing when going short, uh, you know, I always, or almost always when I'm going long up here, let's say, let's say, you know, I wanted to be in above all three of these and I bought in right there where it was red, the, the red price action, uh, you know, at 15.59. And, but my condition to get out was on the green line at 20.93. So I made five bucks, okay? But I, no matter what, get out when it goes through this green line. In fact, uh, in Weeble, uh, which the, which the um, link to Weeble, you get, uh, right now they're giving out, wait, Apple and Amazon on my account. They, they hit me up. They're doing fractional shares of uh, Amazon and they're doing full shares of Apple right now up to 2300 bucks uh, with the link in the description right now, um, which is super sick. So, okay. So I always know when I'm going long, I'm just going to get out at the nine. I'm not going to wait for the 20, the 30, the 50. Sure. There's nothing wrong with that. That's a great way to get out at the 50. No problem. Um, but I'd rather make like 1400 eight times than then, you know, just go up and down. And the reason why is because time is money. And every bit of time that I have in the market, I am trying to make money while the markets are open. So I don't want to waste time and deal with all the downs, you know, all the all the stuff coming all the way down to the 50 and lose 50 bucks here, or 30 bucks or whatever that number is. I'd rather just like have a rule to get in, 
catch the meat of the move and then get out. And like, you know, if, if the if the purple and blue one were below, and many charts are like that, maybe not in this list, but in my normal long list, you get in here at eleven sixty eight and you would have got out at twenty ninety one. Basically just call it twelve and twenty one. So you made nine bucks. Nine bucks, simple. Okay. But as soon as it goes under, you get out of your long. That doesn't mean that you need to go short right there, though. Okay. Because you're going to come and you're going to hit the 20. And if it breaks through there, well, the chances and the odds of it going further down is better. But, you know, the 50 is a pretty major support. And a lot of times these bounce off the 50. So I personally don't really like to go short until it goes not only through the 9, the 20, the 30, <clears throat> the 50. Once it breaks the 50, I'm starting to feel more comfortable. But when it gets through that 200, game on. So now you notice how the price action came up and was rejected, tried, didn't make it, rejected. So it stayed under the nine, okay? Here it's above the nine, here it's under the nine. Okay, so when, so now you're out, you took your nine bucks, okay? In, out, nine bucks, now it's just in your watch list, you're just waiting, you're watching it go down, but you're not taking the damage like all these other, other knuckleheads that are bag holding. You're just like, ha ha, I'm just out with all my money, ready to go. So all you're doing is waiting in the watch list for it to drop through all these EMAs. And if it doesn't and it bounces, well then that might be a time that you get back in and you set a stop under it, but, uh, and look for a trend reversal and things like that. But again, I'm not gonna overcomplicate things. Let's just talk about shorting. So you went long, it got out, you want it to bust through all these EMAs, and when it gets through the 200, it's pretty much game on. So you go short, okay? Let's say you buy 100 shares right here at uh, 1633. Well, if you would have bought 100 shares there at 1633, it would be 16,330, right? And or, or yeah, and then uh, you just you're still in. You're basically still in, uh, and you basically are. Just round that up to 10, uh, just call it six, seven bucks. You're already up seven bucks, okay? So that's cool. You made, you made 700 bucks. And you don't literally need to get out. If you go out, uh, if you go short at the 200, you legitimately can do it a few different ways, okay? You don't have to get back in until, it, until this red crosses the 200, which could take a while. There's a better way. You could, if you go short here, when it crosses the 200, you could do it when the price action, the red crosses the 50, that's better. That's better on a lot of charts, that's better. Um, or you could play it really tight and just only enter when you cross the 200, but only exit when you cross the nine. So right here you cross, maybe you got out and then you were like, oh, fake out, boom, and you just bought back in short and you're just waiting and you're just, it could go down another three, four bucks. So you use the EMAs to your advantage. I honestly, I, I use the nine a lot. Um, the nine is like my favorite. Uh, well, I, I don't know. I like the, I mean, all of them are super important, but the nine really helps me uh, for the way I do things. So I, I'm very tight and like, um, I'm like laser focus, like ninja style. You know, I'm like, I have no problem getting in and out like 20 times in one day. Like I don't, I don't care. Like I'm bam, 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 bam. Like I'm fast with it. Um, but the way that I do things, it's over time, it amasses and it minimizes my damage. And I like to do it in a system. I like to have um, specific blocks of shares, position size, a strategy for in and out. And, you know, certain conditions to go long, certain conditions to go short. And then on whether I'm going short or long, they both have entries and exit rolls. So for me to go long, I like to do something like this. Um, I'll give you an example here. Here's an example. I bought this today. I'm already up like 1800 bucks. Okay, so here's an example. The 200 is below you, the 50 is below you, the nine is below you, and you've pierced the nine. Now, as long as you're staying above the nine, you're making money. And then when it crosses the nine, see how that's got this little green thing right here? I just move my stop to there every day. And every day at the end of the day, I just move my stop right there and it just goes and goes and goes. And you know, sometimes they go like, look at this one. 
This one went from 7590 and you never got out until 10970. Okay? That's 35 bucks a share. Like what what are we doing here? Like, come on, I'm like making this so freaking simple. So guess what? You wait and you wait and wait, and there it is again. It just happened again. Boom. So you buy in at 107, you're already at 119, and this thing could go on for three weeks. That's my rule. The 200 has to be below, the 50 has to be below, the nine has to be below, and it's best when it first comes up through the nine. Sometimes it'll come up and fake you out, and that's why you have a stop. Very low risk, high reward. But this is showing that you're in an overall uptrend. This is showing you're in an overall uptrend. And if you throw in a little dabble do you and you throw in maybe a leader of the sector with some good earnings and some goody goodies, you know, boom, dabble do you, like I do you. And maybe you get a little head reverse head and shoulders and boom, 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 you understand some technicals and off to the races. So that's my conditions for entries and exits for like quick plays. And sometimes I don't even do it on the daily. Sometimes I just back that stuff right on up to the hourly and I'm doing the same thing. I'm like, boom, on this hour, if this is below and this is below, I'm in. Boom. And let's see what I bought it at. 108.22. I'm at 119.20 and I'm on the hourly. And when it crosses this number, 118.59, I'll get out. And then let's go look at, so it says 118.59 for my stop on the hourly. Let's see if it's the same on the daily. It's not. The, it's 110.53. So it's much looser on the daily. It's much tighter on the hourly. So I tend to do everything on the hourly, personally. So I have an entry rule. I have an exit rule. I have conditions that have to be met. I have multiple other conditions that are bonuses, like a reverse head and shoulders and um, a leader and, you know, huge earnings beats and, you know, all kinds of things that, that I look for as well. Institutional support, as an example, good product, services, management. And it goes, the list goes on and on. I got all kinds of things I like personally. And I also have all kinds of things I don't like. But the same thing applies, okay? You have to find out who you are. I know who I am. I know my rules. I know my conditions. I know how to make money in the stock market and the crypto market because I have the system and I just robotically have this whole huge watch list. Now, let me just show you a couple things. Okay, what did I say? If the 200 is below you, the 50 is below you, the 9 is below you, and it pierces the 9, that's the time to get in, right? Okay, let's just check. Boom. Below, 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 and running. Boom. 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 <laughs> Who loves you, baby? I'm just trying to show you guys how you have to do it, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can be like trying to figure it out your whole life, and you can be, oh, I gotta do this out of, you know, and I gotta, I gotta, you know, I gotta figure out in the news what's going on, and because this is happening and that is happening, that must be the reason. No, man, just. Make sure this line is below you, this line is below you, this line is below you, and this line is coming up. And this best, and make sure you, when you enter that you just, you know, you put a little stop down here and there's ways to, you know, not, you know, you want to do that correctly so you don't get wicked out because this is a line chart, of course. And, um, you know, and just, you know, every day move your stop here and maybe even a little bit below it. But, I mean, this is what I'm talking about. These are like my longs, you know, like, notice how they all look, oh, not that one, it's this one. Oh, what the hell is hot money doing in there? Oh, because it's going through a reverse nine. That's a, well, that's for another video. That's a different video. We'll talk about that later. But boom. Look at this stuff. Look at that. That's how you make money, guys. Okay? Let's go see what some ugly charts look like. Remember, we got conditions. So if we're going long, we got the 200 below us, the 50 below us, the 9 below us, the price action above, right? Well, we want the opposite for shorts. So let's go look. Okay, now, instead of the purple, the blue, and the green being below, we want those above. And are they? Yeah, the purple's above us, the green's above us, the 50's above us. When you cross that purple, you're, you're gone, dude. You don't want to be in this list and be holding it. Actually, let me read some off to save you guys in case you are. Clean Spark, get out of it. Coinbase, get out of it. Arc X, run. Moderna, get out. Arc Q, 
Well, our Q could bounce off the reverse nine, but be careful. You're, you're literally at the brink of extinction. Uh, no, this one, see, this one has not, here's a good example. This one has not crossed the purple. Therefore, it does not meet all my conditions. Therefore, I would not short Regeneron Farms. I personally would not do it um, just because it's below this, because it, it needs to be below all three to meet my conditions, even though everything shows me the sucker's about to come down, including the volume and all this stuff. But I just, I like high probability and high chances and high odds of things. And and I, I've, I've done it all. I've tried it. I've tried it coming down. It's just best to do it when you're in a downtrend, which which starts right here, essentially. Um uh, there's other ways to, to, you know, look at downtrends too. I mean, you know, necklines and, you know, pivot lows and, you know, things like that. But let's just, let's just keep it simple and use the 200 as, as, you know, a line in the sand. If you're above the purple, you're bullish. If you're below, you're bearish. Amazon. Uh-oh. Amazon just crossed the purple. Lululemon. Don't be in Lululemon right now. Williams and Sonoma. Short. Palantir. Already down, but look, what if you shorted right here at twenty three forty five, and you're at eight you're already up five dollars on a short. Sam Boston Beer, look, it tried to rally, and then it kind of came down below. We'll see what happens. Zoom, uh, Zoom video, that's a short. Decker's Outdoor, that's a short. Apps, it's on the brink right there. It's just going through that reverse nine. CRM Salesforce, that's a short. M phase, that's a short. You don't want to be an M phase. DVAX don't oh DVAX is above the purple. Sorry. Uh getting close to, to a big problem though. Quest Diagnostics? No. That is different. Okay. Quest Diagnostics is yes below the nine, but it's come to the 50 and it's in an uptrend. Okay. If you remember all my blue ribbons, this thing has blue ribbons. So no, you don't short this one. Uh you it's dangerous to it's more dangerous to short this in an uptrend. Better to do it when you meet all the conditions and you're below all of them. Teladoc. Teladoc is a short. You don't want to be going long in Teladoc. Uh, I can put it in here. AMC, it's not looking healthy. Uh, Asana, short. Monday.com, see how it's really close to 200? Very close. We'll have to see what happens. SoFi, it's under all three. DraftKings, under all three. In fact, look at DraftKings. DraftKings, remember how I told you when you're under the nine? Sometimes they'll bounce up and try, bounce up and try, bounce up and try, bounce up. Look, it bounced up and failed. That means it's coming down further. Arc F, same thing. See how it came up, it tried, and it, it had a rally temp and failed, and rally temp and failed, like, but it's below all three, that's a short. Etsy, Etsy is a short. Uh, Zoom Info Technologies, perfect short. Just came below the 200. And 8.35 million shares were sold today by institutions loves you i might short that tomorrow actually art k dirty as it can go roku roku failed it failed and it's down crowdstrike it's a short square it's a short rg it's a short in mode in mode is right on the brink now i don't <laughs> i told you i hate three times i don't like doing it until it goes below and i see that little one. notice how this one which one was it uh was it roku no it was zoom see how it just barely went through right there that's good okay but this one right here this is like you got to be careful see how it's above well when I say be careful, it's because institutions and algorithms are set to like protect right there and buy. So you could think, oh, I'm going to get in early and short and then boom, that thing can rally. And that's why I don't like, I like to make sure it comes down and maybe even confirms and then goes. Um, it's okay to do that. Like, you know, stuff like that. Playboy. I don't know how this happened, but Playboy turned into a short. In fact, it's telling me that thing's about to come down further. Chewy. Chewy rally attempt, didn't make it. Upstart, if you're in upstart long right now, you need to get out, like like cut your losses. That thing's coming down. Unity, oh, Unity just came through the purple. It came down, it bounced, it fought, it rallied it, it, it a couple times, it failed, and now it just came down. And look at this. 
Unity, go short. Dash, I was talking about going doing Dash like a month and a half ago. Back up here, if I would have done it right here, see what I mean how it came down, retested, then fell? That's exactly what I'm talking about. So 187 and it's at 135. I'd be up $50 a share if I just shorted when I wanted to, but I didn't do it. Pubmatic, here's a brand new one. I was actually gonna go long the other day when I saw this happening. I was getting ready to buy it to go long because of my long conditions. It pierced all three in the right directions. And before I could even get in, it started falling and I, I luckily didn't take the trade and now it fell so hard, it's actually a short. It's crazy. This one, I am in a short actually because it has a lot of, it's 565 bucks a share and it's, it's gonna come down hardcore. Like every day this thing will rally at the end of the day, 20 bucks or whatever it is, but in the morning, like it's already up $6.10 in the after hours. But let me just tell you something. These things, when they're in a downtrend <laughs> and it's this severe, um, it's coming down further. I'm not, you know, don't worry. Don't worry about it. I mean, worst case scenario, it only comes down to 551. But I mean, it could definitely come down to 473. So that's a short. You know, these things make mountains and then they come down the mountain, just like I, I teach you in the courses, you know. Now, here's the big one. If you're in this, you need to run. You need to get out like, like what are you doing? You obviously know nothing about technical analysis if you're in this because this is really, really the ugliest one of all. It's called a firm. Although a firm did have, wow, 19.45 million shares were bought. This thing could be coming to a head right around this line is what I'm predicting, 71.55. But this thing, this this steepness of this and this angle right here, whew, this is bad, guys. This is bad. This thing came all the way up the mountain, whoop, and all the way down the mountain. And look at that nine is just that nine is literally resistance, resistance, fake out, resistance, fake out, resistance, fake out, drop. And look how far it is getting from the nine now. So now when it comes back, it's gonna have to come out pretty far. This one's bad. Um, and, and honestly, this is the deal. If they raise rates, the market will crash. I'm just gonna tell you, like, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna BS you, like, it just is what's gonna happen, okay? Like, I know this stuff, okay? It's just what has happened historically every time. And if they raise it, like, more than three times in one year, it's gonna happen, it's probably gonna be the end of a bull run, it's gonna be a bear run, and most likely a recession. Uh, and that's why I'm doing a video for you to short. So that's, this is actually why I'm doing this video is to kind of show you and teach you and prepare you. That's why I did the video on recessions. You should go watch that. It's got tons of historical facts in there. Um, that's why I've been teaching. Like I've been doing like course style videos on YouTube. I've been doing it for you. And all I literally ask for is for you to like literally like the, like the video, make a comment for me, and then go in the discord and just talk to people, hang out, you know, do some charting and, you know, get to know us, and that's all, you know. Um, and it's fun, it's cool, you know. So, <clears throat> you can learn a lot, I can teach you guys a lot of stuff. Um, they raise rates, markets crash, always happens, okay? I can give you the years, I can spit off all kinds of information about all kinds of things, uh, but I have already in other videos. Um, and I knew with that stuff going on, printing all that money, there would be inflation, and there would be problems and I also knew there'd be an inflated stock market and an inflated real estate market and I capitalized on both but I'm also smart enough to know that it's going to come down and I'm prepared and ready for that and that's why I'm showing you this video of how to take a market down. So it's crazy if they raise the rates uh, really fast but you guys got to be prepared for, for a recession or a crash if they do and and just know that, that that is like the number one thing, the discount rate and funds rate when that when that changes, uh, that has caused um, the tops and, bear, and beginning of bear runs and most of the time recessions uh, over the last like 100 years or 13 recessions or 29 bear markets. I know all about this stuff. I'm like a historian when it comes to like stock markets and charts. So anyways, listen, this is how you short, have conditions, have rules for entries and exits, you do it the opposite. Remember, you need a margin count. You're borrowing shares. You definitely need to understand stop losses, position sizing, capital protection, and you need to understand that the leverage could be different on shorting than it is on normal margin uh, longs. So I'm gonna leave it there. 
Uh, if you want to learn more, get in the Discord, start chatting with me and everybody else. If you want to upgrade, just go to the start. Okay, here. guys. So, look, I just wanted to play that video about shorting. Remember, if you're going long, you want to have the 200, the 50, and the 9 below the price action and usually take the Sorry, trade when the price action goes above the 9. When you want to go short, you want the 9, the 50, and the 200 above the price action coming right through the 200. You want to put a buy stop right above the 200 if you're short. And then if you're long, when you're coming up through that 9, you just want to put it under the 9. And... Um, Look, if you would have heeded my suggestions in that video back in January, you'd be up, what, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions? That depends on you, how you took the shorts, what position size, uh, if you're still in. A lot of those are up 100, 200, 300, 350% in just the last four months since I made that video. So... Uh, you saw many, many examples. You saw how confident I was that if they came out and were aggressive with the feds that it would crash the market. Here we are four months later. I tell you guys early because I know about this stuff. And uh, I hope that you're learning. And if you have any questions, put it in the comments. I appreciate you watching to the end. And welcome to the wheelhouse.